Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I want to talk to you about why the const keyword in Java is reserved, but it's not actually implemented. And you can actually see there's a little screenshot there of some Eclipse code. I've used the const keyword, tried to declare int as const, and you'll notice that Eclipse has actually brought it up as a kind of a pink violent color, violet color, not violent color, indicating that, yeah, const is actually a reserved word in Java, but if you try and use it, you'll end up getting a, a syntax token error. It won't allow you to do that. So we have this weird situation in Java where we've got something that is specified to be a reserved word, but you can't use it. It's a little strange. So why is that? Well, you know, I guess it comes down to what does the word const even mean? I mean, I, we both know what it means. We know that it means to make something constant. But I guess the point is, what does constant mean in Java? So, for example, maybe you've got a constant instance variable that's, you know, maybe a, a primitive type and that can't change. Okay, that's pretty basic. You know, you've got something that's an int, its value is 10, it can't change. But what about a class variable that can't change? Is that also a constant? Um, what about an instance variable? So for example, maybe you've got a, an instance variable that has properties. If something is constant, does it mean that the instance variable's properties can't change? Or does it just mean that the pointer of that instance variable can't change? So, you know, does a const apply to a, a reference variable? What about being immutable, right? Like we have this talk about immutable objects in Java where maybe the object reference can't change and also the properties of the object inside the object reference can't change. And for that matter, you know, there's even this idea of const correctness where something is passed into a method and once passed into a method, it can't change for the duration of that method. So. You know, just the question of, like, what do you mean by const? It might be something simple to implement in JavaScript or a procedural programming language or something that's not object-oriented. But when you start getting into an object-oriented language with Java, and especially when you think about the fact that when the language architects put it together originally, they wanted it to really be object-oriented, not sort of object-oriented like C++ or some other languages that had object orientedness bolted on. They wanted it to be purely object oriented and using the const keyword was problematic. And I guess it was problematic because there were better ways to do it. So we all know that if we actually want a constant variable in Java, we can specify that it should be final. So the, the final keyword in Java actually means something will be constant. If you have a variable that's marked as final, once that variable is initialized, that variable can't change. If you have an object that's marked as final, that object reference can never change, although the properties in that object can, which sometimes confuses noobs. Uh, I said final, most people are familiar with static and final. Static and final means that not only can the value not change, but it's also the same for every instance of the class. So a final variable, you know, maybe you've got a, a bank account and there's a final variable for account ID. That means every individual account is given an account ID that can't change. But if you have a bank account and I have a bank account, we both have different ID numbers. However, if maybe the every single checking account has an overdraft limit of a thousand and that applies to every account we call that static and final so you can even see in this little example here that you know something that's constant you know that it has meaning at maybe the instance level and it has meaning at the class level and those meanings are different and just one keyword to rule them all isn't going to work so so I guess, why don't we use const in Java? Well, one reason is because the use of the word static and final gives us more control over the constant rather than having one 
big hammer to drop that applies equally everywhere. So we use the words keywords, we use the keyword static and final in Java to mark something as constant. That gives us more control. Also, in terms of immutability, we've implemented immutability in the past, largely through the use of setters and getters, right? We, we declare instance variables private. We restrict access to them through public setters and getters. I guess that implements a degree of immutability, although I think uh, anybody that has gone through a second year computer engineering course will argue that that's not really immutability, and I would agree with that. But it gives us the equivalent in our code, so that works. And for that matter, you know, JEP 169 is a specification for value types in Java, which will give us true immutable objects. So from that standpoint, you know, we're catching up. And then there's also this term called const correctness that has to do with the fact that when something is passed into a method that it doesn't change throughout the life of that method. And there was discussion of using the const keyword to implement const correctness way back in 1999. But, you know, the horse was already out of the barn by then. We'd already released Java 1.0. We had a full increment release. People were already using it backwards compatibility issues were a big worry, as was code bloat. So that whole thing was nixed, and it's been 20 years, and we've never come back to it. So, you know, why is const in Java unimplemented? There's an easy answer. Java doesn't need it. We've got other ways to achieve constant variables in Java. We don't need the const keyword. And there you go. That's why the const keyword is not implemented in Java. If you want to learn more about Java, head over to theserverside.com. Lots of tutorials. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. In the meantime, happy Java.